Hello guys, welcome to Akam CAE YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to apply a velocity profile within a UDF code in your ANSYS following simulation. Uh, in this video, I consider an elbow, uh, which you can see here, with two velocity inlet uh, boundary condition and one pressure outlet. And uh, this is uh, a symmetry of geometry in order to reduce the computational cost and uh, here the axis so uh, the velocity normal to the inlet boundary condition is in the x direction and we have y direction here and z direction normal to the screen I already simulated a simple uh, turbulent regime flow within this elbow uh, this elbow has a diameter in inlet velocity around uh, which is 4 inches uh, and the outlet is 4 inches the second uh, inlet uh, boundary condition that we have is a uh, 1.5 inch it's not 1 inch uh, don't mistake it it's 1.5 inches and uh, the fluid that we use in this uh, elbow is uh, water here you can see the specific properties of uh, the water I apply these uh, properties in the ANSYS fluent simulation uh, and one more thing that you should know is uh, the origin of this uh, problem that I have here it's here it means that the uh, center of the velocity inlet is uh, minus 8 in the y direction and minus uh, yeah but excuse me minus 6 in y direction and minus uh, 8 in uh, x direction so you should know that because when we want to uh, create the universe the velocity profile we need to know the center of the velocity inlet the circle or inlet boundary condition of this to you so here you can see I select a pressure base uh, type as a solver and the simulation is a steady you know uh, in this uh, picture the length uh, dimension or the length unit is inch but I change it uh, in the unit section let's this is the length in meter in order to don't make uh, things complicated between UDF and ANSYS fluent so I suggest you always use the uh, SI units Here you can uh, see the mesh. I make it uh, in a good uh, position. And the first things you need to do is to active the energy equation and select the standard K epsilon uh, turbulent model with enhanced wall treatment method, which is already I set up uh, these uh, models. And here is a water liquid uh, properties. I already also uh, ass assigned them to the uh, water liquid and uh, you need to select the zone as a phalloid and select water liquid for the material name let's go to the boundary condition uh, we have a velocity inlet large velocity inlet small if you see this here the temperature is uh, 293 Kelvin and the uh, inlet velocity in X uh, direction is 0 0.5, 0 0.4 for uh, turbulence parameters I select intensity and hydraulic diameters which is 5 for turbulent intensity and 0 0.1 for hydraulic diameter which is in meter for the a small one I set uh, 1.2 for the velocity in y direction because it's in the y direction comes in the y direction to the elbow and uh, again for turbulence intensity is 5 and hydraulic diameter which is 1.5 inches if you transfer to the meter you got this value for the methods I got uh, simple Gringo's node base for gradient and first order and second order so I already calculate this uh, simulation I want to show you the results uh, if we want to if I show you the velocity magnitude in the symmetry plan you can see the uh, 
uh, velocity coming, uh, the fluid coming from the left and from these uh, small tubes to the upward and out from the this area. And if I want to show you the velocity inlet in large, you can see uh, there is no profile here. And even if I show you the vectors, uh, let's take it to okay. This is the vectors. You can see there is no uh, profile here because we already set as a normal to the boundary in a constant value. It's a constant value which was 0 0.5 meter per square. So let's work on the UDF code, the velocity profile that we have here. This is the velocity profile. Uh, you can make it with a txt file and then change the extension to .c. It's very simple and easy. Uh, here I have uh, the software like dev C++. I want to show you the code with this software. We have a library of the UDF including UDF.h. We need to have it in the, the code. I already asked uh, uh, AI generation uh, to give me the equations that we have in this uh, that we have in this UDF so in this UDF we need to calculate the radial distance from the inlet center which is the equation that we already know that uh, we have Y center and Z center which in the code I, I assign them as a center of Y coordinate and center of Z coordinate in an uh, inlet boundary condition which is here uh, if I want to show you it's here this area so this is the center of the inlet and I assign it uh, here for the Y and Z coordinate for the X we don't need to assign it and here the tube radius which is 0 0.05 meter if we transfer from inch to the meter and the maximum of velocity that I selected here is 0 0.5 you can change it later we will change it actually and uh, in order to define a velocity profile or any profile in your ANSYS Fluent simulation you need to use define profile macro and here is the name of your profile it can be any name so I already assigned it as an inlet x velocity and after that in the UDF code you should uh, uh, tell the uh, software that uh, apply these uh, parameters in a phase of the boundary condition so we need to get the data the position of the each cells in the inlet boundary condition and then get the y value and z value which is uh, uh, assigned to the x uh, 1 and x 2 if we want to get the x coordinate you should uh, set x 0 but here we don't have x and here this is the radial distance uh, from the center that I already considered as a code and this is the profile uh, uh, in the profile that I use I use the parabolic velocity profile which is almost close to the a fully developed velocity profile you can use any profile from any equation that you have but here I use the parabolic velocity profile uh, which is the simple as a for considering the laminar uh, profile I can say and I just transfer this equation to the code as you can see here and the end of the F loop so this is the whole uh, UDF code you can uh, change the equation here for whatever you want and uh, we are ready to go so I uh, close this one so this is the already a uh, uh, solver the case that already can calculated with a turbulent flow with a inlet constant inlet velocity of 0 0.4 that I already show you in order to define the UDF uh, we need to go to the user uh, define and functions we are we have two options we can interpret the UDF or compile the UDF uh, so in this video I want to compile the UDF 
Well, the difference between these two uh, methods is that the if you compile a UDF, it would be faster, and uh, sometimes your UDF doesn't have any calculation parameters or it doesn't need any data from your ANSYS fluent, like the position of the coordinates or volume of the cells or anything. So if you don't need to any uh, collect any data from your ANSYS fluent, you can just interpret. But here, uh, for example, I need the data for from Y coordinate and Z coordinate in order to uh, have a faster calculation. I consider to compile my UDF. For compiling, you just clicking on it and select Add. Uh, because I already set the working directory, it goes to this working directory. So if you want to do it first, we don't have that file. I click on this one and click OK and click Build. So we waiting here to compile the source, the code, and uh, then load it. After you did that, if you go to the boundary condition and velocity inlet large, uh, you will see it, uh, it was already 0.5. But right now you got an uh, inlet x velocity here. So I click on inlet x velocity and apply. If you would like uh, to initial the solution, you can just do it here. Initialize with a hybrid initialization and then calculate the problem. So I just pause the video after the calculation. I will come back and show you the results. OK, guys, now the calculation is uh, completed. Let's see the uh, contour and the vector from the ANSYS fluent. Here we go to the results and graphic contour. Uh, so let's see the velocity magnitude from the velocity inlet okay here but uh, you know as I already told you I use the symmetry boundary condition uh, I want to see the whole uh, velocity profile so I will go to the graphic uh, section click on the view uh, just active the symmetry and apply so now I can see the whole picture of the uh, velocity contour and here it is this is a velocity inlet you can see it's like a, a laminar flow regime in this uh, section I want to show you the velocity vector here so let's show it if I come back here so if you comparing uh, this uh, profile with the previous profile that we already had before applying the uh, velocity profile uh, it's changed a lot so we have a fully developed uh, velocity profile here which I applied to the inlet boundary condition and also we can uh, see the result contour here in the symmetry tab okay so here also you can see many things changes and definitely it's affected the uh, many parameters like temperature variation the pressure drop uh, now let's uh, make a little change to the uh, UDF that we already have here so I just changed the velocity the maximum velocity to the 1.4 and save the profile uh, if you this is a, I want to also show you how to change uh, apply a new UDF code in your ANSYS fluent software so I here I already had a UDF so in order to apply a new UDF I should unload it first and then read it again so here compile and even you need to delete it sometimes I delete this one as well so I click here OK build and I uh, after that I click on load I will do again the calculation and waiting for the uh, convergence of the simulation okay the calculation is uh, completed 
let's see the result I wanna show you again the velocity magnitude here you can see the inlet velocity the maximum inlet velocity is increased and definitely the profile also changed uh, let me show you the uh, pro to profile here just zoom in here and you can see it's getting uh, bigger with higher value so this is uh, how you can apply a UDF velocity profile in your uh, Feloid dynamic calculation it can be uh, applied for any application that you have just you need to uh, get the uh, equation from your profile for your profile and apply it and transferring to the equations as a UDF code and apply to the ANSYS Feloid thank you very much don't forget to subscribe and support our channel thank you very much